Okay. If you guys can hear me today, one of my viewers say they couldn't really hear me, so I had to speak up a little, a little bit more louder. It's probably because the day that one of my videos, the day I, I, I was recording, it was windy that day when I was outside the apartment there. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope everyone's having a wonderful morning today. It's a blessed morning. Hey, Birdie. Hey, 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 hey. I got a friend right here with me. Huh. He ran away. Oh, I feel bad. Anyway. Or anyhow. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Hey, um, got a little word to tell you today, you know. Um, especially the Christian family. You know, we must stay in the Bible. Okay. Um, I got tricked last week. I didn't share this share this, but after I did some research, I got tricked. That by a group of people. I'm not even going to say the ministry, but it was a group of people that was talking to me about the Bible. It was last Wednesday, actually. And um, they gave me a, their version of the Bible. And I'm going to find out it wasn't the Jesus that we serve. I don't want to put no one on blast. I'm not going to mention, like I said, the, um, as I say, the cult. They claim to be a ministry in the original church, whatever. Anyway, um, I probably already said too much. Um, listen, you must read your Bible. You must read your Bibles. Don't just take word from a pastor of a church. Read the word. You know, right now, especially right now, I mean, there's so many pastors out there in these churches, as well as on, on YouTube here. That's why in all my videos, I always say, Go to the word. Everything that I say, I have the scriptures. I have the Bible right here. This is the word. This is the living word. And I, and I always quote everything from the word. Okay? And I'm just a minister that Jesus wants me to give this out to the people. Because just last week with myself, if I wasn't in, if I didn't even know the Bible, I would have got trick to myself and, and, and first then you know basically a false God there's no other God before me Jesus said in his word okay and I can read you here give me a moment here it has been weighing on my heart I mean I, 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 I watched a few videos the other day yesterday and it's like all this one save always save propaganda knock it off you know I'm talking to you you a lot of the youtubers knock it off stop teaching that false teaching there's no doctrine there's no teaching in the Bible that says once save always save you can get saved but you have to walk in Jesus way you can't be saved and just live the way you want to live that is so false Okay, that's taken away from the word. It really gets me upset because you because you're leading, especially young Christians like myself, you're leading us in the wrong direction, and we don't read the word. This is why you have to stay in the word. You have to read the word. Here in Revelations, chapter twenty-two, verse eighteen. I warn anyone, anyone who hears the word of the prophecy of this book, okay? If anyone adds or take them, God will add to them, to, I'm sorry, God will add him, I'm sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm sorry right now, just, because the words are really this one is this is a small Bible, so I gotta make sure I'm gonna start all over again. I warn everyone who hears the word of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. And if anyone takes away from the word of this book of 
this prophecy, God will take away his share in the tree of life and in the holy city which are described in this book. So I'm leaving it at that. Okay? You know, you got these, these people preaching these words, prophecies or whatever they're preaching. Okay, it's not of the Holy Spirit. It's a, it's a false doctrine. Teaching this thing, these things that are not even true to the Word of God. And you got young Christians like myself taking this in and thinking that it's okay when it's not even in the Word. Like, I, I'm hearing in, on some YouTube channels that, you know, Christian yoga? Christian yoga? There's no such thing. Do you know what yoga is? It's a form of worship. It's a Hindu practice. Yoke mean yoga. Yoga mean yoke. I mean you mean you yoke into these spirit, these spirits, these evil demon spirits of these Hindu gods that Hindu worships. When you sit those poses, you're giving homage to these deities of the Hindu faith. Okay, and it really gets me really it burns me up sometimes i pray about it but at, at the same time because it's so much and i almost got i'll tell you last wednesday so we was being here with some some crazy thing last week because it was just one thing when the devil he he comes he comes as light he doesn't come as darkness that's the thing about the devil he always comes with something that looks good because he takes god's god's things and turn it around so we have to understand his word we have to read the bible this is why I, I stress this so much. Read your Bibles. It's getting windy out here right now. All of summer today. It's just, it, it was so nice when I got up here, as you see. And, and it's like all of a sudden the clouds are just starting to form. Like, like some don't want me to get this word out. See, God's good. I'm supposed to I'm appreciate it anyway. Okay? So. My whole thing is, please, whoever listens to this channel, I'm not a prophet. I'm not a preacher. I'm nothing like that. I am a normal person that's on YouTube that that's doing God's will. Okay? And I'm here to tell you that be careful what messages you get from these. For anyone that's acting to be a preacher or a prophet make sure you read your bible and you look it up and you get this person that's telling you something that you don't that you're not sure with make sure he shows you that in the word show it show show me in the word that once saved always saved yet, yet you won't find it because it's not in the bible okay and it burns me up you know a lot of these a lot of these pastors they just they just there for the money and I'm just gonna be straight up with it they don't care about you they just there for the money okay and it's really sad that that they're they're pushing people away from God by doing that that they are they're they are really damaging the church this is why Jesus said he's gonna start shaking things up because he's gonna start cleaning the house very soon and get rid of these fake pastors and these fake, whatever you want to call them, because they're destroying his kingdom. These young babies, they are coming to him. They destroying them. They destroying everything, and it, they're, they're very dangerous. So I, I warn people: read your Bible more, not just on Sundays. Don't make it a religion. Make it a faith, belief, believe in Jesus, have a relationship with Jesus. Because then you will understand and have the Holy Ghost to, 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 to understand if someone's trying to deceive you or not. Because it's, it's crazy. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm li listening to all this stuff and I'm like, are you serious? And then you got some, some pastors talking about being little gods. We're not little, we, we cannot be, we can't, how are you going to compare us to God? There's no comparison. We're sinners. God is pure. How can you even compare us to little gods? I'm sorry today. I'm just kind of upset about all this and we don't
don't supposed to wrestle with flesh because it's not them. It's the spirits that are in them that are doing this. So, but please, because I, I, I don't want to see so many souls go to hell. Because that's what's going to happen. This is why you have a Bible. You know, Jesus, Jesus said a lot of people will, will be destroyed of lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Satan doesn't want you to have knowledge. The devil doesn't want you to have knowledge. Because if you have knowledge, then you, you're able to defeat him and get salvation. The devil doesn't want you to have salvation. He wants to destroy you. He puts these fake prof his prophets, which that's what they are, these pastors that are doing this, they're his, they're working for the, the dark side to lead as many people to hell as he can because he knows his time is up. His time is up. We're at the last time. We we, this, this, this is the last days. And look around. The signs are here. The prophets are being filled as we speak right now. So now you're going to have more, it said in the Bible, more fake prophets coming in Jesus' name, but they're not of Jesus. Test the spirit. You have to test the spirit. Just don't take anything and run with it because you're lazy and don't want to read the Bible. Take at least five or ten minutes to read the Bible. You spend more, t I know a lot of people spend more time on their phones than anything. You, can, you can't take 10 minutes for Jesus. I get on a train and all you see is people stuck in their phones. Now, I don't know what they're doing in their phones. But I can imagine that they probably not, they probably not, it's not contained to Jesus. I don't want to be um, judgmental, but I'm just saying. A lot of people do not read the Bible. And that's a fact. Maybe just on Sunday when you go to church. Because if so many, if people did read the Bible, all these false prophets would not be able to to push this, these these false doctrines out there. People would have the Holy Spirit to know that these are false prophets. But these pastors know that people are not reading the Bible. They're not into the Bible. They just want to go there, go there and hear lip service. That they're not going to chat. Come on, this is your salvation. This is your life. Everlasting. Do you want to be everlasting in hell? Burning? There is a hell. There is a hell on the earth here. Okay? So, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. You guys can take it or leave it. Learn or burn? Learn or burn? Okay? Now, I'm not even perfect. I'm not perfect. These guys last week was talking so good. I just happened to go and look at the word and, and, and get some scriptures and, and look at what they've given me and add up. See, if I didn't look at the word and I didn't do my research, I would have fell for that trick. Okay? Can't fall for tricks like that because you got to get into the word. Whatever someone's pushing at you, always test it. Test, test, test it. Get your Bible. Read your Bibles. You must read your Bible. You have to. Or you're gonna be tricked, and guess what? You're gonna and 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 devil. He's laughing. He's in the laugh. <laughs> Don't give the devil no more room. Than he already he's his day is almost up. He's already sentenced. He's already judged. Okay, his time is up. So with that said, I hope everyone having a wonderful day. It's cold out here now. We had a storm yesterday. I think it's coming back. This morning was beautiful, it was sunny and bright. What happened when I come out to the video? And, but this video will come, will go out, regardless of what Satan tried to do. Anyway, so you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful Tuesday. And, uh, I'll be back with another one. God bless.